Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to do things a little bit differently. Ooh, but it's toasty. Uh, so we're going to do things a little bit differently today. I have a jersey to unbox here. Got a couple packages that I'm sure are hockey related. We can open those up as well. Um, I want to watch uh, Nick, so Twisted Wrister's newest video in the Jersey Guessing series um, featuring Neil from Post to Post. So I kind of want to go along, play along with that and give my guesses for them as well. Um, yeah, open Jersey, watch that. Probably going to cook a steak for dinner. Might do some, might do rice with that today. I had potatoes yesterday. So, yeah. Um, so it's going to be kind of like a little bit of a, a vlog day almost. So if you're wanting to just kind of stick around and see something a little bit different, you'll still have some hockey related content in it, obviously with some Jersey unboxing and the guessing, but just kind of hang out with me for a little bit and we'll see where the day goes. So, up first, before we do anything, I need a smoothie because I need some substance in my life. So, put this to the side and make a smoothie, and we'll open up these packages. Kind of go from there. Alright, first thing we need is some fruit. Some blackberries in there. Rinse. Blueberries. Definitely need some pineapple. Too fat. I'll probably need a little more. Our protein. I don't know really what this is. Some type of cleanser type of shit. I don't know what it does, but it makes me feel like it's healthy. It's a healthy outside starts with a healthy inside. Very high in fiber. Good source of omega-3 and 6. Wow. Nice, nice. Based on an old-fashioned recipe, so can't go wrong with that. Ginger. Ginger's pretty strong, so you don't need a lot. But I like ginger, so we'll have a nice sized piece of ginger in there. And I'm not a big fan of actually putting this thing in, but put a nice chunk of spinach in there. I usually will try to make it so that I cannot taste any spinach at all. And I just buy fresh spinach and put it right in the freezer. Um, it's better than buying these fresh pre-frozen spinach that you can get. So I don't like the taste of the spinach in there at all. So, to fix that and so I make sure I don't taste the spinach, put in a whole lemon. That acidity just cuts right through the spinach and you would never freaking know. Oh, there's still some juice in there. Please feel free to go ahead and skip to the uh, jersey unboxing if you want. This part isn't always the most exciting, but like I said, if you want to just kind of hang out with me for a bit today, you're more than welcome. Something I've recently started putting in my smoothies because it's delicious and it makes me not realize how much spinach there is as well, mint. As a bartender, mint is like my favorite thing to work with. Take off quite a nice little handful of mint. This mint today is just beautiful by the way. I wish we could get something this nice at work. Wow. Take it in your hand. Give it a nice smack, it really just brings out the aroma and some of the oils in the mints. And pretty much, I think we got everything. And some ice. Sometimes as well, I'll put some yogurt in there. Um, there's like this Icelandic style yogurt that's really good and has protein in it already. 
socks. This is good to go for today. See how it tastes. Delicious. And you would never know there was a, a bunch of spinach in there. So it's really all I can ask for, so it's a win for me. All right, but let's open some shit. All right, so we have Jersey, which I'll leave till the end here because that's always the funnest part. We'll start, we'll leave this one last. This one feels heavy-ish. I don't know why, because they all should be hockey cards, so we'll open this one first, see what we got. I ordered just like a bunch of hockey cards off of eBay for, for a decent price, but let's see which ones these are. Now if you can't see them um, on this little screen, maybe I'll put up a picture uh, so you guys can kind of take a bit of a closer look. Oh, that is sweet. Jacob Verana, uh, one of my favorite capitals at the moment. So that's sweet. It's one of the newer ones that I ordered, so it's kind of surprising that one beat some of the other ones here. All right, all right. Nicely packaged here. Really nicely packaged. I need scissors though to get in here. And plastic and bubble wrap and then in one of those hockey card things as well. So whoever the seller was for this did a really good job. But Pedersen from Vancouver. I don't have a Pedersen hockey card until now, so that's sweet. Uh -huh. Alright, and this one. This one's heavier. This one feels like it's wrapped pretty good. If it is hockey cards. It might not be, I don't know, but I don't know what else I would have bought. Oh, those are wrapped really nice. Alright. So it's two orders of hockey cards, all from the same person, so they all came at once, so. Alright. Who we got and what we got. It's kind of like a little mini package of cards, but all ones that I picked. These are really nice, like holders. I've never seen them like that before. That is kind of cool. Oh, yeah, I've never seen that before. So, it's been about a month since I've ordered them, so I'm not entirely sure all the ones that are in here, but let's find out together. Peter Nedved for the Rangers. Brian Leach in the white Statue of Liberty jersey. Love it. Who is this? Oh, Theo. Theo Fleury in the Horsehead jersey. Nice. Sammy Kapanen for the Hurricanes. Beautiful. Another Theo Fleury for the Rangers. Peter Bondra in that sweet Capitals jersey. Pavel Bure for the Panthers. Brett Hall, Stars, wearing number 22. Yager in the sweet Pittsburgh jersey. I don't remember ordering this one. Dallas Drake for the Coyotes and a sweet Ray Whitney for the Panthers. That is a nice one. All right, let's see what these ones got. Braden Holpe. Um, the reason I got these ones, same with this Andre Vasilevsky and this Thomas Tatar, this Drew Doughty, and this William Carlson. 
all these like MVP upper deck ones are like redesigns from like way back from the 2000, 2001 type thing. This is the same style, but an original one that is obviously Ron Francis for the Hurricanes. So those were my favorite hockey cards growing up. I loved these ones. So when I saw that upper deck was redoing them with current players and obviously current teams and everything, I had to get some of them. So Carlson, Doughty, Thomas Tatar, Vasilevsky, and Brayden Holpe. Fantastic choices. Is this a McDonald's one? I think it's the same design as a McDonald's one, but I don't think it actually is, but Miro Shatan for the Sabres. This is a sweet Paul Korea in that awesome, like, 90s uh, third or fourth jersey. Sweet card of Mario Lemieux. Wayne Gretzky in the Statue of Liberty jersey. A rookie card of Joseph Vasicek, who's one of my favorite players, who's sadly no longer with us. And a new one with uh, my favorite Norwegian, Matt Zuccarello, playing for the Wild. All right, so yeah, I already saw the Ron Francis Carolina one. Another Wayne Gretzky one like that as well. Luke Robotai wearing that sweet jersey with the shield on the front. Richard Zednik, again, in the sweet Capitals jersey. Sergei Gonchar for the Capitals. J.S. Shiger is a Calgary Flame. Don't see that often. Uh, Wendell Clark playing for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Ooh, one of my favorite defensemen early on, Philippe Boucher, playing for the Kings. I loved him in Pittsburgh. Pavel's brother, Valerie Bure, for the Calgary Flames. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Alexander Dagg, when he played for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, we all know how he was a little bit of a bust, but we won't go into that. And lastly, but not least, Alexander McGilney playing for the Canucks. So... I am really happy with that little haul. I need to sip my smoothie after all that talking. Alright, but I'm going to set these cards aside and then we'll open up this jersey and I'll let you guys take a look to see what I got because I'm pretty sure I know which one it is, but there's two that I'm waiting for. So I have one here, another one will show up whenever. but. It should be the one that I ordered first. I ordered it a few days apart, so it should be that one, but you never know how these things will always go, so we'll see. But yeah, just give me a sec, I'll put these away, and we'll get right into it. So the jersey, we will open this up and see what we got. Um, I looked at my eBay order and I'm still missing about four cards that still haven't showed up, so it's not too bad. But we will open this and take a look at what we got. In a lovely bag, nicely shipped, I appreciate that. Please email me if you customize it. All right. So, let's take a look, open this up. Excited for this. 
All right, so this jersey is my first starter um, brand jersey. Starter definitely is one of, I think, I think they're well thought of in the jersey community. Um, this is one that I was shocked to find. And to be honest, when I put an offer in, I thought I was not gonna get it accepted whatsoever, but it did. And I'm really excited about it because it looks really great from down here. But let's take a look. The Washington Capitals blue Screaming Eagle jersey. The logo is stitched on and everything. Shoulder logos, like this is unbelievable. Like, I'm so happy to have this. I never thought I would have this in my collection. Like, wow. I will definitely give you guys a close up of the jersey, but like, this is unreal. Like, nice Eastern Conference patch on the bottom. Everything is just really nicely. I've super impressed with Starter. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is easily one of my best constructed jerseys. Um, wow. I will probably definitely be getting Sergey Yonchar on this. Um, maybe Peter Bondra might have a little bit of an outside chance at it, but Honestly, it'll probably be Gonchar because I loved him as a defenseman in Pittsburgh. And even when I hated the Capitals growing up, he was one of the players that I actually did quite like on them, so there is that. But, just give me a quick sec here. Yeah, this is... I, I'm impressed with Starter. If you have a chance to ever buy a Starter jersey, just off initial impressions like this right away, I would highly recommend it. Um, the logo is a little bit kind of bubbly, but it's stitched on and everything, and it's gorgeous. I can't wait to try this on. Um, let's do that right now. So we will go down to the basement. I'll give you a little bit better look when the lighting's a little bit better. But fits, that's really all I can ask for. Oh, the only thing I could really ask for is if Washington actually brought this back as like a third jersey or even a home jersey. I would love to see this come back. But this is instantly skyrocketed right up to one of my favorite jerseys in my collection. So I'm extremely happy that I have that. Put this over here. All right, so, damn, I really like this really. All right, again, sidetracked. All right, so up next, we will go and watch Nick's uh, jersey guessing video, kind of play along with that and see how we do. If you guys kind of want to, just, like I said, hang out with me for a little while longer, it's definitely cool. If not, if this is all you really wanted to see, thank you very much for watching this far, and I'll see you again soon. But if you want to stick around, see you in a bit.